Now this, by the way, take a look. That, that is not Lyndon Johnson, that's Lawrence Luckinville uh, as Lyndon Johnson. Wow. I want the lights turned off in this wing when these offices are not being used. Where the hell is everybody? And check these thermostats, I want the heat lowered. Whose office is this? Damn it, I don't believe I'd trust a man who'd spend a Sunday evening at home rather than at the office. I want copies of every memo on every desk in this wing. I want to know what's going on. I'm not saying I don't trust people. I'm just saying you can't depend on them. No matter how many advisors a president's got, he is alone. Damn, this is the loneliest job in the world. And I don't care what any former friends of the press might say. If I want to lower the heat, I'll lower the heat. If I want to turn off a light, I'll turn off a light. If I want to drink me a glass of whiskey, I'll drink a glass of whiskey. If I want to have bad manners, I'll have bad manners. I got to have the freedom to do what it is I want to do. And I want me some loyalty. I want my people to be 150% loyal, to kiss my ass in Macy's window and stand up and say, boy, wasn't that sweet? And I'm going to have what I want to have. And don't you try and tell me I'm not. God damn war. God damn war. I'm a decent man. I have good moral values and I try to do what's right for the people I have been elected to lead. But if I've been, if I'm wrong, and if I've been led up the goddamn garden path, then 25,000 American boys are dead on foreign soil. And I will not say to their parents, to you and you and you, that they died in vain because because it isn't so I'm not wrong I've done what I had to do to stem the communist tide in Asia. And I'm proud. I'm so proud of those boys who gave their lives so that all people could be free. All people. And I will defend my actions until the day I die. Sounds like a bunch of Republicans out there. <laughs> now that was quick. <laughs> Reformed Republicans. <laughs> when I was a boy, uh, there was a public hanging over in Louisiana, and the deputy sheriff said to the poor condemned man, he said, uh, According to state law, you have five minutes in which to choose the words that you want to use as your last act. And the poor old fellow said, well, Mr. Sheriff, I, I just don't have anything to say, so why don't you go on and get it over with. And the fellow jumped up in the back of the audience, and he said, Mr. Sheriff, if he doesn't want those five minutes, I'd like to have them. I'm a candidate for Congress. 